Yeah, so uh, I've got some explaining to do. <laughs> okay, hey, welcome back to Project Ceres. So I have been working really hard on this rocket that has now flown once. Um, it had mixed uh, results, as you may be able to tell. Um, but instead of editing down a big episode, which is probably going to take me a few weeks, um, I'm kind of running out of time for the eclipse. So what I'm going to do is, after I post this video, I'm going to post a set of clips from the build and test and launch of this rocket. Um, and then I'm going to host a live stream. And during that live stream, I'm going to go through those clips um, and field your questions. So I want to post the clips in advance because I would like you all, the audience, uh, to have a good chance to look at the clips and come up with some questions before the stream starts, so that way you're not coming into it cold. Uh, that's really it. Uh, I will also take you around this rocket just very briefly, just to give you an idea of what's going on and how the launch went. So, here we go. So this was a two-stage vehicle. The sustainer is a three inch diameter filament mount fiberglass rocket. Um, this housed the 360 cameras. Um, and the booster was partly made from my L3. So this fin can is actually reused from my L3. Um, and it had like an interstage section that uh, did what we like to call a, a core sample. Um, and I'm still sort of trying to figure that out. So before the stream, I'm gonna cut this open and try to get a better idea of what happened. Um, but the actual flight performance, um, the sustainer, uh, performed nominally. It went up and it lit its motor and it came back down in the right number of pieces, albeit rather tangled. So this was the biggest risk I had um, going into this flight, given the two 360 cameras and the drogue and the main and the tender descender. You'll see more about it later. Um, and then the booster, went up and came down and did not deploy shoots, which was super weird um, because like I've gone through some of the footage and um, yeah, it should have deployed its shoots. So I really need to cut this open to figure it out. Um, but yeah, we got about 18,000 feet with that flight, uh, which was really, really close to the Sims, which was awesome. Um, I learned a lot about custom igniters and I assume I'm going to learn a bunch about black powder charges that I didn't know before, because even though this was ground tested, it still failed. Um, the Sabo got kind of cut in half. I lost half of it to the desert, but the half with Professor Bunno survived, so that's cool. Um, and I'm probably going to end up rebuilding the entire thing, because the recovery architecture for this, especially the sustainer, was um, a little suboptimal. Um, I haven't taken this out too much and clean this up too much since the flight. Um, but the sustainer avionics are fine, they look great. Uh, yeah, that's it. Um, I'll see you in probably a week or so for the live stream and keep your eyes out for those clips. See ya. And then when that happened, we lost. Should we bring a shovel? I have one. You have one. Uh, it's not a big shovel, so if we have a big shovel, we might. I've got a standard shovel. I'll bring it over. Question.